In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at the Creatio marketing features for the marketing product. So the marketing product is part of the Creatio CRM system, and it can be licensed either standalone or as part of either the sales licenses or service licenses or any combination of that. But today we're going to focus on the features of just the marketing parts. So we kind of start today by showing you a home page and a home page is a collection of widgets that show you sort of a consolidated view of things like your your marketing budgets what you've spent on your marketing efforts emails you've sent and delivered so this is kind of a holistic look at how your outbound marketing efforts are performing you'll also notice that there's some uh, channel analysis here of where the leads are coming from uh, within the system and also the lead sources are on another widget here so we'll talk about these in a little more detail but this is a new feature of Creatio that again shows you this sort of roll up of how your marketing uh, efforts are performing overall in, uh, in using the Creatio marketing tools. So where it kind of starts, if we go at the highest level, and it starts with what are called marketing plans. And marketing plans is an area that allows you to sort of plan out or look at what your intentions are for your marketing strategies and your marketing efforts over a period of time. And it's divided up by year. So you have the ability to establish some budgets and strategies within here if we open this up uh, and then some activities that are related to your marketing plan or strategy for the given year so here we can see things like what your budget is what you actually spent and then the the various marketing activities that are incorporated within your overall plan so again that's the high level sort of planning piece of the marketing story. The next layer or level below that are what we're going to call campaigns or what they call campaigns. Campaigns are a series of emails typically. So it consists of campaigns consist of one or more bulk email sends and other marketing related activities. So if we look at this first one here a campaign you will notice the flow and the flow of this campaign moves from left to right these objects or elements within this flow uh, start with uh, registration for an event in this case and each one of these purple boxes is an individual email that's been created in Creatio that's being sent out either through uh, selecting an audience through a filter or they can also be enrolled within this campaign through a trigger and a trigger can be driven by any uh, either lack of or inclusion of some piece of data within the system so it might be that the trigger would be they went from being a prospect to a customer and you've got a group of records built contact records built that uh, enrolls them automatically within this this particular campaign just as an example and so you see this happening over time so let's take a look at another one here and we have a slightly different layout where this one has actually got a flow within the campaign of a trigger and that trigger moves them either above or below the line here depending on whether or not they opened the original email so the triggering condition in this case is if they open it they move up if they never open it they follow the the track uh, below that line this is a simple one for registering for some kind of an event an event might be a, a webinar or a trade show or something like that and you're inviting people to that event um, using one of these campaigns you can see things on this campaign screen where we've got 90 participants we have a goal of 50 uh, it's uh, got an audience here and the audience is the people who are 
uh, invited. So these are contacts within your system that have been invited or, or asked or being participated in because you built some kind of a filter and added those to um, the audience for that campaign. And then the final piece of it is the emails themselves. So we're going three levels deep into this. We started at plans, we moved to campaigns, and now we can look at the individual emails themselves. So let's take a look at uh, one of these, and you can see that there's split testing available in here as well. But let's take a look at this CRM marketing report, and this is the email itself. So this is the template. So what the email is going to say uh, is, is here, and we'll show you how to edit that and create that here in a second. Um, but you, again, have an, a specific audience for this email, which is under the Audience tab. Uh, if there's any parameters, you know, things like throttling and delivery schedules, if you don't want it to go out immediately. We can also do things like click tracking. So we can uh, have it become part of the history record for a contact uh, as they are either opening or let's say it bounces or they forwarded these emails, click the link, things like that. Those kinds of performance metrics are also tracked um, within here in the individual emails. Let's see if we can find one that has a little bit better data in it. There we go. You'll also notice in here that these emails can contain merge fields. So any field within Creatio that has data in it can be used as a merge field. So these emails, which are either individual email, bulk emails that were sent, or they're sent as part of a campaign, have the ability to merge in any data within Creatio to create a personalized email. So these emails can appear as though they're coming from an example being the account manager for the given account. And you'll notice in this case, it's merging in the first name of this person. Uh, looks like it's a birthday, uh, congratulations or something like that. So it goes beyond just sending a bulk email because it can merge in fields. These can be personalized to contain specific data to each contact, and they can appear to come from or originate from the, the contact owner or account manager, rather than coming from a generic, you know, info at your company.com kind of a thing. So we can also see things like the sending progress, uh, click stats, email total. So there's there's a constant um, collection of information that's happening. So you get to see uh, what kind of results you're getting as Creatio is sending these out for you. Here's one that's got some data in it. Uh, so you can see what kind of sending performance you have. Opens and bounces and so forth are all tracked as these are going out. And again, all this data is being written to the history record for the individual contacts. The last thing we'll look at here is the landing page and web forms, because that's also part of, but not related to emails, uh, landing pages and web forms allows you to wire up your existing or new uh, forms that may be on your website. Like most companies will have a contact us now page and it'll ask you for things like your, um, you know, your, your uh, name and address, what are you interested in, things like that. So these forms, you create the code, the HTML code itself, that uh, invokes the API for Creatio. So instead of them filling out a form on your website today and it maybe ends up in somebody's inbox as an email, we actually have the ability through this mechanism to uh, generate the code for you within Creatio. So we're generating the code that you implant on your forms on your website. And then upon submitting that data, it can do things like create a new lead or create a new contact or a new support ticket or an opportunity or, or something like that. Um, or it can also be the landing page where they land uh, to do things like create uh, or fill out a survey. That's another common use for uh, a landing page is 
you know, how do we do on our last service call at your company? Or how do you like the new XYZ product you bought from us kind of a thing. So those are just some examples of how these forms can be used. You can register for things, fill out, you know, a trial request, um, schedule a demonstration, a presentation. So any number of things. So it's not limited to just creating leads per se, um, but that's commonly what uh, a web form would be used for. And that again is all part of your Creatio marketing uh, solution. And then finally we have events and our events are specific to something like a webinar or uh, a trade show, for example. So events allow you to record and understand uh, an event that you're planning in the future that has a, uh, the need for them to register. Uh, and, and so it allows you to create the uh, event and then record information about, you know, who's involved in that event at your company, what are the financial costs of that event, if there are any, who is the audience that's going to be invited to this particular event. And so it can then be part of a campaign. This event can be tied to a campaign. And the campaign itself can deliver the invitations, the email invitations. And as we looked in that previous example, people can register or not register. And then it takes a different course of action depending on which one of those uh, uh, things happen once they receive the email from you. So that's the uh, Creatio marketing uh, overview of what is included within that package and uh, how that works. Thank you.